Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right to this video. So Rosalind did send me their new 60ml tubes of poly gel. They sent over the glitter red and the nude for me to create a fun nail set with. These are 60ml tubes of poly gel and they are super huge. I was like opening these up and I pulled out the bottle and it was almost like the size of my hand and I was just so surprised with that. These are the biggest tubes of poly gel I own. The only other biggest size I have is a 50ml tubes from McCart. And I just love big tubes of poly gel. 15 ml tubes of poly gel are really not my favorite because if I love a color, I want the color to last me a lifetime. So these are definitely those tubes if you feel the same way about wanting your poly gel to last. Like look at this poly gel tube, it's like the size of my hand. So I'm just going to go ahead, open these boxes up, and then we're going to go ahead and swatch these. The color is also labeled on the poly gel with like a swatch, but that isn't really the true color. It just kind of shows the color a little bit. I like to do my swatches on an index card and then store them in a small photo album. That way I can see the actual color of the poly gel. These are available to purchase on Amazon. I will have them linked down below. And these poly gels range from price, some $6.99, $8.99, $7.99, but they are all under $10, which is totally a steal in my mind for a 60 ml tube of poly gel. I was just blown away with the price and the quantity of the product. Also the quality of the product. I really love these poly gels. In this video, it might look like I'm having a little bit troubles working with them, but that is because they were sitting out in my mailbox which it is very cold where I am right now. It is winter, so you do have to remember that when working with your poly gels, they are going to harden up a little bit from sitting out in the cold or sitting in a cold nail room or your room, something like that. Some tips I have is to put them in a bowl of warm water, but I did want to quickly film this video and just forgot to do that at all. So here are the two colors. I was loving that glitter. So I went ahead and cured those and then I got all of my supplies ready. I was just doing going to be doing a quick set getting the nails on but then I did go a little bit more in depth with the decorations. So for the nude I decided that I wanted to do my pinky and my middle finger and then for the glitter I was going to do the rest of my fingers. So like I said, I did not warm these up. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I was just thinking like, oh, it'll be okay. Well, it was not okay. I had some very, tr very hard time doing this set with the hardened poly gel, but that was not at all the brand's fault. That is just because it was cold outside. They were sitting in my mailbox and then I brought them into my nail room, which was also a little cold at the time of filming this video. But the poly gels were overall nice to work with besides that fact. So I am going to be just doing the lazy girl method here. I use this method all the time when doing poly gel just because it is number one, my favorite method. And number two, I don't keep nails on for long because I do film videos. And this way it is very easy to pop the nails off. I do apply a peel off base coat. A lot of I'm getting a lot of questions asking about how long the nails last using this method or how I apply the nails questions like that and I really do not go in depth with a natural nail prep routine because I do take off my nails to film multiple videos and I apply a peel off base coat to my nails that way when I apply the nail I can cure it and file and all that good stuff create a nice set and then once I'm finished filming I can take them off or I can leave them on for a few hours after the video is done so that is why I do not really go in depth but if you would like to see like my prep routine for if I wanted a nail set to last please comment below because I am getting a lot of questions and I would like to help you guys out a little bit so at this time my nail room was a little bit warmed up but these tubes of poly gel were not so I decided that maybe it would be 
very helpful to apply the poly gel to the nails and let it sit and maybe that poly gel would warm up a little bit and be easier for me to work with. I do want to mention just one last time that I love this brand of poly gel. It was not giving me problems other than the fact that it was cold and that in no way was this brand of poly gels fault at all. It was totally mine and next time when I'm working with cold poly gel, I'll be sure to put it in a bowl of warm water first. So now I just want to explain a little bit of the lazy girl method in case you are new to my channel and haven't seen me do this method before, but I just sized out my full cover nail tips. These are the XXL stilettos from McCart. I'll have them linked down below. And now I'm just taking my slip solution. I use isopropyl alcohol and I'm just dipping in my brush and molding the poly gel to the inside of the full cover nail tip. In this method, just remember a little bit of poly gel goes a long way and all you want to do is just mold the poly gel to the inside of the full cover nail tip, smooth it all out, and once you have it all smoothed out, you're just going to place it on your natural nail and cure. I like to cure for 60 seconds on top and 60 seconds underneath. I am trying a little bit of a new method this time where I am getting all my nails ready and then I apply them all at once and then I do a big cure that way it doesn't it's not so content it's not so time consuming this way for me so here are the nails after I have molded the poly gel to the inside of them now I'm just going to pop them off of their nail stands place them on my natural nails and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds on top and 60 seconds underneath After curing, I'm going to take my lint-free wipe with some isopropyl alcohol and just wipe the tops and the undersides of these nails just to remove any stickiness or residue left on these nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my hand file and buffing block and just buff and file the nails. After the nails are buffed and filed, I went ahead and grabbed some decorations and now I'm just going to take my McCart top coat and apply top coat to all of the nails. It was so satisfying applying the top coat to the buffed and filed glitter nails. I just think that is so satisfying and for some reason my camera was not focusing that well while I was doing this, but I did try to make it a little bit satisfying for you guys and show you like the top coat just going on so smooth and looking so gorgeous on these glitter nails. After I had the top coat applied, I went ahead and popped these into my nail lamp to cure for 30 seconds.
Now after the top coat was all cured, I was going to be taking this chrome powder which is from the McCart October Year Nail Lab box, I believe. I'll have that video linked up in the cards. But I'm just going to take this chrome powder and use it on my pinky and my middle finger. I thought it would just make a very nice glow to these nails and it truly did. I loved it so much how this turned out and I'm just taking this little I don't know really what to call it. I would call it like a makeup sponge, but it was included with the chrome powder, so it's not really for makeup, but you just rub the chrome powder in and it sticks because you have that top coat where the powder adheres to. And then once I did get this all rubbed in, I went ahead and brushed off lightly with my dust brush to remove any extra dust. And then I did use a top coat that I did not a top coat that I was okay with getting the glitter fragments in because with this chrome powder if you use a normal top coat that you use on all of your nails you will have that glitter residue in it and then it won't look good when you're applying it to a nail that you don't want glitter in so when you are using chrome powder make sure you have a specific top coat that you can use and that you're okay with getting some glitter fragments in i have tried to use my regular top coat and making sure i wipe my brush every time but these glitter fragments are very tiny and it does not help doing that at all so definitely just get an extra top coat for this after applying the top coat I cured and here are how the nails are looking. I was totally obsessed but I totally had to go in with some charms. I did make this snowflake and the little peppermint. I have these silicone molds. I used a circle one for the peppermint and then drew on the peppermint design and added a rhinestone and then I just sprinkled some glitter over top of the snowflake. I had that little snowman, the little bear, and then this super cute bow that came in the December Your Nail Lab box. And then I also had this gel liner. This was so pretty and it was a silver and I thought it would go perfectly and it did. I was going to be starting off with my pinky creating a silver line down the center of the nail. And you see me cure this and then after I cure, I applied the bow towards the top of the nail which I did not like in the end so when I come back from after applying that bow I did change this nail up a little bit off camera and make it more of like a peppermint lollipop so right here I'm adding the bow right here towards the cuticle area of the nail but then once I cured that I really was not loving it so I decided to change it up to apply all of these charms, I am using the McCart rhinestone glue, the best rhinestone glue ever, and I am just going to cure for 60 seconds. Here is what I mean about changing it up. I moved the bow to the bottom, and then I placed the peppermint where I had the bow, and it looked like a super cute peppermint lollipop. Now I'm just taking this super cute little, I think it's like a bear, yeah, it's a bear, and I'm just applying that to the other chrome powdered nail. Now for the thumb, I'm taking my rhinestone, rhinestone glue, applying a little bit towards the cuticle area, and applying the snowflake. So all of these charms, I did apply and cure them individually because if you do not, they do slide around a little bit. And then by the time you get your hand in the nail lamp, it is moved out of placement, but I went ahead and applied that little snowman to the tip of my index finger. And now I'm taking these white snowflake stickers. They are very hard to see on the paper, but they are just a mix of white snowflakes. And these came in the McCart December Your Nail Lab box. I absolutely love these stickers so much. They were very nice quality and all of the snowflakes were super cute.
After you have all of your stickers placed where you like them, just go ahead and apply a top coat to better hold these stickers and then cure for 30 seconds. And that is it. You have your super cute nail set that was just so fun and easy to create. Now I'm just going to take some cuticle oil and apply some cuticle oil and rub that in to nourish my cuticles. I love applying cuticle oil. It just brings the whole set together and makes the nails look so bomb. I was loving this set. It was a very pink wintry nail set. I loved that little bear. It just made the set so cutesy and I just loved it. That lollipop on the pinky. I'm so glad I changed the placement of the bow because that is just a super cute peppermint lollipop. Again, I love these poly gels so much and I really could not pick a favorite nail from this nail set. Comment below if you had a favorite nail or if you just loved the whole set, but just look at how cute these snowflakes are, that snowflake that I made, and then all of the other charms. This set was absolutely stunning, especially with the two poly gels the nude and the glitter red which are both 60 ml and i will have a discount code linked down below for you guys so you can get these poly gels a little bit cheaper than they already are and yeah that is everything i was so obsessed with the poly gels they were great quality and the nail set turned out so stinking cute I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me create this nail set and as always do not forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.